Hi everyone, today I'm showing you a shirt that I've made which is a McCall's pattern. It is this one here, it's 7387 and I've made this view here. Um, so I've made it in a gingham because everywhere has gingham in the shops and it's my second gingham top that I've made but obviously with a different style. This one has um, concealed buttons, so you've got a button plaque. I spaced the buttons out according to how I wanted them so they're not completely even at the top two but then I did measure them back. I just didn't want it too low cut and I just wanted to place them strategically. Um, it went together fairly well um, with this which is the button placket and the fly I was I'm really confused. I sat there staring at it for two days because I couldn't work out from the diagram which bit goes in, which, you know, what, oh, I got really muddled and then I suddenly had a brainwave and thought, right, okay, I just need to crack on and get this done. Subsequently, this bit here, which is the very top of the band, front band and fly, that's what it's called, front band there, I think I should have sewn that when it was inside out and then flipped it because I ended up with a raw edge and then I'd finished everything else. So I had to slip stitch these bits at the top. You, just, you can't really tell, but it's fine. The other thing I did was there was a lot of slip stitching involved by hand and I'm really lazy when it comes to hand stitching. I think if I'm gonna make something on the machine, then I'm gonna wanna make absolutely every stage of it on the machine. So. The one thing which saved me, I will just show you the foot that I used. The foot that I used was an edging foot. I think that's what it's called. It's this one here. And the little metal piece here sits along a seam, the edge, and it zips along and it stitches really close to the edge of the fabric, which um, was underneath the collar. So you won't be able to see it there. And you think the other place I had to do it was on the button placket, which was, or on the fly, that's it, I call it the fly, um, there, so you wouldn't see that because that was then covered as well. And I think actually with a shirt, it's quite nice to have some nice neat stitching on it anyway. Um, but that is a lifesaver. So I would say if you hate slip stitching by hand and hate hand sewing, you just wanna get things done quickly, get yourself one of these bad boys and that will save you a lot of time and hassle. Now the one, Thing which does bother me slightly about this top is um, that I had, I shortened the bodice by one inch because I'm five foot three and a half and I'm used to sewing with patterns by other companies, won't mention any names, who um, they are designed for a certain height and I always find that I have to shorten their bodices so I automatically shorten this one but the one thing I didn't account for was the hem because it is a a dipped hem and because it's I don't know arches is that the word I'm looking for um but it's quite high up so I am wearing it with high-waisted jeans today um but and I do have a white camisole on underneath this shirt because if I didn't which I'll show you let me just zoom out sorry and you see it's really deep the hem so this is obviously this is the camisole, this is where the jeans are in, and these are high-waisted ones. So in order to avoid flashing any flesh, that's why I've got the camisole on. So I think next time, because the length is actually, you'll see from the photos better, um, but the length is actually, um, the length is good, um, but the hem, uh, let's just move you back. Um, yeah, the length of the item is good since I shortened the bodice by an inch, but that hem is too high up. So next time I make it, I will either lower the hem on that side seam um, or just lessen the curve. So it is still a dip, but not as harsh kind of thing, if that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so that does bother me slightly saying that. It was really hot today. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to wear a camisole and I just wanted to wear this. I wore a camisole, so it was tucked into the jeans um, and this. And it was so light and airy because it was, it was a loose fitting shirt, so it doesn't stick to you. Um, and I didn't feel hot at all because, not because I had a camisole as like an in-between layer. And I didn't feel that I was going to either 
expose myself from either the buttons, like if they came undone or if they peeped open or something, um, or if I reached up, then I would, you know, show my side off as well. I was, yeah, I didn't really want to show off any flesh today, so that's, but with the camisole underneath, I wasn't hot and it was perfect because it tucks in tightly so you wouldn't know that I've got it there. Um, and it doesn't interfere with the way that the garment hangs or anything. So I will put some photos on now um, of the item so you can see the back because if I stand and then twist around on the camera, you're not gonna fully see how it hangs. So I will put these photos in now. I definitely want to make one again. I'm really inclined to make one in red gingham. I don't know, I'm just a bit obsessed. I think it's very summery, like white, three quarter length chickens with a nice gingham shirt and it just looks really good for spring, summer and it's not hot and it's airy. And um, I think, yeah, definitely. And because the, the good thing about this pattern is that it does, does give you a variety of options. So you can have the shirt dress or you can do it with like the little lapel placket things um, and with a pocket. So you pay for one pattern, which I got it when they were half price, which in the UK is really rare for McCall's patterns to be half price, unless you're some member of a sewing club where you have to pay so much each year to then get reduced patterns. But if you just wanna buy a pattern here and there, they're really expensive in the UK. They're not like with the people in the US who are always getting them for like $2 or something. It's not fair. Anyway, that's enough of my whinging. Um, but I'm definitely a fan. Didn't have to alter anything about the fit other than obviously shortening it, um, which is a standard. But everywhere else fits absolutely fine. So I am on the hunt now for more McCall's patterns because they haven't got the ridiculous amount of ease that some of the other pattern companies have where you have like seven inches of ease or something ridiculous like that. So um, I would definitely recommend this pattern. I've got another video to make coming up um, a skater dress that I made, which is a super quick and easy make with a jersey fabric, which is a lot quicker than making a shirt. So if you're scared about making a shirt, um, keep tuned for this. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.